Okay, I'm going to give you some, I'm going to spend a little bit of time with the Mini. We've been posting a lot of uh, information on the website as far as photos, but I really haven't taken time to explain how the Mini functions and what makes it unique from um, any other method of tillage that we're doing. We, uh, much like a parallel link, there's four pivot points on, the, on this unit. And uh, it's tied together. The containment coulters, unlike the soil warrior, where the containment coulters free float, only their own weight bob along on the ground, trailing the cog wheel. And the gauge wheel is what regulates the depth of the cage gauge wheel or the depth of the shallow tillage attachment in the spring. Um, this here, being the working coulters tied to the containment coulters, i.e. gauge wheels, these gauge wheels are pitched to bring to bring dirt back in and mount it up on that tilled zone and keep and contain the soil. They're virtually impossible to shove into the ground much more than in real loose conditions. If you're running a lot of pressure into bags, you can get them in an inch, inch and a half. Um, but that's that's it. They're just not going to penetrate more than that. And being it's hooked to the working coulter, the distance from the bottom of here and the cutting depth of the wavy is uh, stays within like three sixteenths of an inch, whether it's fully in its down position like it is here, or if it's fully retracted in the upper end, which is 19 inches on the upper end of the 19 inches of travel, the cutting depth of that coulter stays the, like I said, within three sixteenths of an inch. So we do have depth control on the wavy. Um, I've had customers. They've been out for a year and a half now, and I've had customers call and tell me they're getting an honest six inches of cutting depth with it. Um, and I've always found that hard to believe because it's only a 20 inch blade, and six inches of depth is, is getting to a point where you're losing, the, you're losing the shear point on the front of that coulter, and I've always feared if you'd go that deep with that diameter coulter, you'd have corn stalks or whatever pushing ahead of it. And, uh, it's been very good. We've had real positive response from it. Uh, it handles, it's been primarily, when we first built it, I built it for the aspect of chewing up the ground and fracturing the ground and incorporating some liquid hog manure, putting it on the back of manure tanks. Um, then we found the larger customers that'll use a soil warrior that's 20 or 30 feet wide in the fall, that's pretty substantial, but it's just not enough to do the acreage they want to do in the spring and the time they want to do it. So they're looking for 60, you know, 60 uh, foot toolbars. So they were, they soil warrior in the fall with the big cog wheel <clears throat> doing their heavy primary tillage in the fall. Mini warrior in the spring on a 60 foot toolbar, um, 40 foot toolbars doing their fluff and condition in the spring at a high volume, high acre per hour rate. So it's proven to be pretty successful for that. We've had a couple of producers who are no-tillers, incorporate the mini into their operation, and uh, they've been making a pass in the fall in the real tough conditions like where one, one producer chops silage. Um, that, that ground gets a lot of fall traffic. And he said in the fall, he's running through it at two passes. First pass, he said he's getting three to four inches on us. Let's it sit for a while, comes back, uh, and makes a second pass before freeze up. And he's, he claims he's getting an honest six inches. And what I've seen recently, I tend to believe him. Um, then in the spring, he'll shallow it up via this adjustment to limit to, two and a half to three inches of depth. He'll fluff and condition at some speeds of seven to seven to ten miles an hour he runs. And it's been uh, been very successful for him. Um,